the long-awaited firmware update for A7S3 firmware 3.0. Now the long-awaited update is online. The update package usually comes with the 2.1.5 update and then updates to the version 3.0. The display assists are much smaller, thus you have more view of what you're shooting. You always have the sound put on the corner, which is a really good thing. We have the FX3 menus, which are great. You have all the settings that you need um, and the first menu that appears. It's much faster to get the things that you want to get to. One thing to note is uh, after your update, you have to redo all your settings for your camera. Unfortunately, if you ever saved your settings on a SD card or something, you can't import them because 3.0 kind of changes a lot of the operating system of the camera, so you can't use the settings from before, so you have to redo them. You also have a lens compensation. Unfortunately, I don't own any of the lenses that are in the lineup for this breathing compensation thingy. The DCI 4K is a way to shoot with more of the sensor. Many people like DCI, they use it for cinema, as FX3 and A7S3 have practically the same sensor they are used for cinema these days. After you install your software, you might not find it in the settings. You need to install Creators app on your iPhone or your Android phone and connect the phone with the camera and get a free license for the DCI 4K and install it in the camera for your phone. Of course, there are other updates as well. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching. Please press like and or subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye.